thousands are going to work every day and not having a clue as to what the fuck is happening, man. Our entire world is being destroyed. Okay, I'm turning on the switch of this, okay? Switch was on all the time. <laughs> See, there's the, the little thing for the vehicle. And you see that going down to 31? Okay, now I'm turning them on, okay? shaking themselves apart. You see, that simulates a small solar panel, right? And with a heavier wire, it, the impedance is 4 or 5 percent, they say 4 to 6 percent impedance from aluminum, all of these metals, including silver, copper, and platinum that are electrical conductors. Some of those metals that they call para or quasi-magnetic are not conductors. You see what I mean? Iron is special. That's called the ferrous magnetic. And ferrous magnetic ones have domains. They become magnetized and they cause heat. And that's what they put in the middle of all the trend. That's what's been fucking everything up. So you can see the <coughs> batteries are getting charged, right? But not as fast as I expected. And now this one is working fine. When we first turned it on, this one was acting as a drag on everything. It's still acting as a drag on everything. It gives a very much lower voltage. What I'm really surprised of, I thought there would be bigger gaps in the voltage values, right? You know. You can see 38.4 going to 38.5. It started at 38.1, I think, so it's going up. It's charging. And at the same time, it's charging and charging me, right? Now it's going to 38.6, so it's giving about one tenth of a volt input into charging the batteries every five seconds or so, you know, ten seconds. So that means that when you stop uh, right now, well, the way they are, unless they're improved, which they can be, but maybe only within limits, you know, you have to turn it on before you start your vehicle, you know what I mean? Because it's not producing energy as fast as it's using it. You, what, what we're after is this reaches maximum efficiency at cruising speed. At cruising speed, a vehicle doesn't need the torque that it needed to start to move all the way and begin the inertial movement, right? So this will be, say, 38% uh, when you begin it. You see what I mean? And it'll be 92% efficient when you're going at a certain cruising speed. Now, if you're at 35 kilometers per hour, the cruising speed, and you want to speed up and go 42 kilometers per hour, 
you, you've got to have bigger batteries, you've got to use more energy, and it declines to 80 or so. It doesn't even decline all the way to take off, you know, values, or going up hill values, but it declines because you need to have, to have that torque, as if you're starting from, from nothing at the cruising speed. You see what I mean? In fact, if you give any vehicle a push with your foot, or I gave this a push with my hand, right? What you do is relieve it from the need of the cord we're coming in the shoulder. Inertia. See, now that one's 39.8. So what's happening, if I turn this one off, those two that are made of number 30 wire, uh, 400 uh, turns in each coil, will not be dragged out by this one that has number 28 wire and 300 per coil. This one is less than half the output voltage of these others. This is the one with the highest output voltage. This one is slowed down somewhat. But they, the output voltage uh, of induction in the coils is greater because it's more turns. And it's also greater because it's lighter wire because of the 5% impedance of a paramagnetic material of which even copper is included. But these things called shielding all these metals around these motors that you see in every car and every refrigerator and every home appliance, those are made of paramagnetic materials and what they're doing is slowing down and getting warm and using energy. So what you want is, <laughs> if possible, the entire vehicle made of, mo of plastic, of no metals at all. You see what I mean? Because all the metals interfere. And we we're in space sciences here. Because when they're trying to go and inhabit other planets, they're into things that will block radiation and special plastic. You see? That uh, can block radiation. And uh, uh, when they're estimating how much heat we've got to live, keep our body temperature. They used to say 99% came from the sun. They were wrong. 58% is coming from under the earth. They didn't know that until 20 or 30 years ago during space exploration and satellite time, right? And the reason is is because of iron. Ferrous magnetic matter is conducting magnetic waves and interfering with them and moving inside the earth and it's creating a great deal of heat. And that's what's happening with the generator in your car. It's creating a lot of heat which lowers its efficiency from 92% to something like 12%. You see, that's using a lot of fuel burning up just to charge your battery in your motor car. So all of that is obsolete technology, but in order to make it obsolete, you have to make these kind of generators that play with energy, fluctuate the energy, right? see it when, I, when it turns on, it starts going down right away. That's because the capacitors are initially giving, surrendering their uh, energy to it. Anyway, I'm extremely pleased 